Hi, I'm Rusty Ham. Welcome to the Equimeter training video series. Today we will show you the basic steps to shoot a liquid level using the Total Well Management software. In order to shoot a liquid level with TWM, you will need to have the following equipment. Well analyzer, laptop computer loaded with Total Well Management software, remote fire gas gun, pressure transducer, transducer solenoid cable, cylinder with compressed CO2 gas, and microphone coax cable. Before we get started, let's talk about how the process of taking a fluid level measurement works. First, the gas gun volume chamber is charged with compressed gas to a pressure greater than the casing pressure. The TWM software opens the solenoid gas valve, releasing the pressure charge from the volume chamber of the gas gun into the well bore. The acoustic pulse generated by the release of pressure travels down the casing, reflecting off of tubing collars and other changes in cross-sectional area. The depth from the gun to an anomaly in the casing annulus is directly proportional to the round-trip travel time for the acoustic pulse to travel from the gun down the casing gas to the anomaly and reflect back to the microphone in the gun. Finally, the remaining energy from the acoustic pulse is reflected back toward the microphone. These reflected pulses travel up the casing and are detected by the microphone in the gas gun. An accurate strain gauge pressure transducer measures the casing pressure buildup for several minutes after the liquid level measurement. That's how it works, now let's get started. Out at the well, our first step will be to inspect the wellhead valve for corrosion, wear, or damage. Check the pressure at the wellhead. Don't exceed the working pressure of the gas gun. Then we can attach the Echometer remote fire gas gun to the casing valve with 2 inch NPT threads by making 4.5 turns for a safe connection to the wellhead. At this point, leave the valve to the wellhead closed. Screw the pressure transducer onto the gas gun. Finger tighten only, an O-ring provides the seal. Connect the three connectors to the gas gun. The solenoid connector, the microphone connector, and the pressure transducer connector. Open the well analyzer and connect the microphone cable and the main cable to the well analyzer. Turn on the well analyzer and wait for the green power light to turn on. Finally, turn on the computer. When the laptop computer has finished loading, start the TWM software by double clicking on the TWM icon on the computer desktop. Verify TWM is in Acquire Mode by clicking the Acquire Mode button in the top left of the screen. Click the Setup button on the left and then select the Equipment Check tab. The display of the well analyzer's battery voltage indicates that the computer is communicating with the well analyzer. Now we need to set up the sensors. Click on the Acoustic Sensor tab. On the pressure transducer, check the serial number on the label. Select that serial number from the list on the screen. Also set the pulse type to explosion and enter the gun serial number at the bottom. The casing valve between the gas gun and annulus should still be closed at this point. Open the bleed valve on the gas gun to release any pressure between the gun and casing valve. Zero the pressure transducer by pressing the button marked Obtain Zero Offset. Once the present zero offset reading has stabilized, 
press the button again to update zero offset with present reading. Open the base well file for your well. Then click the Select Test button. Select the Acoustic tab and then click the Acquire Data button. We will prepare to take a shot by following the steps in the Instructions panel on screen. First, charge the gas gun to a pressure that is at least 150 psi above the casing pressure. Second, close the gas gun bleed valve. Third, open the casing head valve between the gas gun and the annulus. Before opening the valve, the operator should be aware of the well surface pressure and alert that equipment ratings exceed this pressure. Fourth, close other valves connecting the casing to flow lines. Back in the TWM software, acquire a shot by pressing the fire shot button. The software will fire the remote fire gas gun automatically. You should hear a beep and the click of the solenoid. The message shot pulse was detected from gun is shown once the gun is fired. Three seconds of acoustic data will be acquired for every 1,000 feet of formation depth entered in the base well file. Once the shot has been acquired, you can enter a description in the top text box to describe the individual shot and the bottom text box to describe the test session at the well. Click Save when done. Once the shot is saved, TWM continues to acquire casing pressure data every 15 seconds for up to 15 minutes or until stopped manually. When the data is saved, go to the Select Liquid Level tab in the Analyze section. TWM has calculated and selected an acoustic reflection as the best liquid level. Use the left and right arrow buttons on the screen to fine-tune the selected liquid level. The box in the lower right shows a close-up view of the selected liquid level. Now go to the Depth Determination tab. Here TWM displays the calculated depth to the previously selected liquid level, which is indicated by a vertical line labeled LL. The depth to the liquid level is calculated using an average acoustic velocity determined by automatically attempting to count all of the collars from the initial blast to the liquid level. The vertical line labeled C indicates the depth to which TWM was able to count tubing collars. The average acoustic velocity is used to determine the depth for any portions of the acoustic trace where TWM was unable to count collars. Other analysis methods may be selected from the depth determination tab to determine the depth to the liquid level. These methods are a manual collar count, downhole marker, and acoustic velocity. Now click on the casing pressure tab. At the well, the computer will beep at 15 second intervals to signal that the casing pressure is being recorded and the casing pressure buildup rate is being determined. The casing pressure buildup test is usually recorded for a time period of two minutes. It is necessary to observe the casing pressure buildup for a sufficient time to establish a linear pressure trend. TWM creates the buildup line by drawing a line from the origin of the plot to the last point recorded. If the buildup line does not fit through most of the data, wait for more points to be plotted and stop the buildup when the line makes a best fit approximation through all of the points. The annular gas flow rate is calculated from the annular volume and casing pressure buildup rate. On the collar screen, you can check the depth to liquid level, but it is not necessary to review this screen because information is displayed on other screens. In general, the depth to which collars are counted should be at least past 80% of the distance to the liquid level. Otherwise, the shot should be repeated with an increased chamber pressure in order to improve the signal-to-noise ratio. For the final results, go to the BHP tab. Here TWM displays the results based on the determined liquid level, acquired casing pressure, and well file data. Use the bleed valve on the gun to release any confined pressure between the well valve and gun. Be sure to release pressure before removing the pressure transducer. 
please refer to the Echometer Manual and online resources at www.echometer.com for a more detailed discussion of the analysis and calculated results. Echometer hopes you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.